Hey, I'm Steve. Hey, I'm Mike. And we're here to talk about Sonic Mania on the Nintendo Switch. So Sonic Mania is a game to uh, celebrate the 25th anniversary of Sonic. I've got my 20th anniversary shirt on because I was I was uh, fortunate enough to be at the uh, Sonic's 20th birthday party. But so 25th anniversary uh, coming out, and they went back to the original side-scrolling style. Um, I guess from what I'm hearing, this game is is supposed to be a follow-up, Mike, to the um, to Sonic and Knuckles. Is it, is that right? Do you know any more about what it, where it actually kind of falls in the line? Not that people really care that much about the you know the the timeline of Sonic, but mm-hmm. is, is that about right? Uh, at least from my understanding, like ti- like the timeline, it somewhat falls in there, but it was mostly even just created just as a fan game, so. Yeah, like that's what it's actually its origins, more or less. So yeah, I think that's the cool thing is this like it has one of the, the the programmers from Sonic on there, but they also brought in these other guys that had done fan games, which is really cool that they you know brought in these basically people that just kind of sat around their their own house and and developed Sonic games just out of pure love for Sonic, and uh, that's that's pretty cool. Like to me. I can see the passion, I guess, within it. Have you been able to? Is that, is that your experience as well? That you can tell, like this is this was made from some some passion for Sonic. Oh yeah, and it, like and even a lot of the level designs themselves, like all the new levels are just you really feel it, like that classic Sonic love in there. And then you get a lot of the older levels that have a lot of just that old classic charm, mm-hmm. but like the just the charm you've seen from the Genesis days, not so much like the port days on the GameCube or PS2 and all that. So right, right, yeah. So it it kind of it feels a lot like um, I think because you can play the different characters and stuff, it, it kind of does feel a lot like Sonic 2 or Sonic and Knuckles um, mm. in in a lot of ways. But I think it's it was really cool how they they took the I guess paid a lot of homage to the the old levels, um, so you do have you know your remixes of of a lot of the old levels, which mm-hmm. was a really fun because um, it was like it was kind of like going back to what I knew, but it was new again. And, oh yeah, and that was that was really fun as well. Um, but then they they threw in these other different games like mini games within it um kind of playing off the different like the 3d styles and and all these different uh things that was a surprise to me i think when i first got in it because i didn't know a whole lot about the game i think when i first booted it up and uh that was a big surprise for me when i when i got to like those mini games and stuff and i was like oh this is really cool i remember this from you know whatever game that was they were kind of playing off of mm-hmm. yeah, like, it's a lot of that like i I do or did notice a lot of those mini games, and it just it felt a lot repetitive to me. I don't like the uh, one mini game where you're just sitting there, like going around that sphere and yeah, collecting all the blue orbs. Just get the blue but orbs, it's yeah. like <laughs> that, that was the, those are always the worst for me. Yeah, uh, I kind of miss the Sonic Two ones, but. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. I did, now that you bring it up, I guess it kind of does. Like I, I think I was expecting to see more of those. Like mm. okay, let's let's pull from different types of games and stuff as we go. Mm. But yeah, in the beginning, it was it was a surprise. But yeah, it, it could get a little repetitive over time for sure. Mm. Yeah, and a lot of what they uh, pulled from too was from the uh, Saturn release of Sonic or the unreleased version of mm. Sonic or whatever it was. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> one of the things that, that I thought was, was really cool it were the new levels. We touched a little bit on that um, already, but um, I think it's so cool to, to see new Sonic levels that feel just like the old ones. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that was, that was the biggest, uh, I guess, feeling that I got from this. I, and maybe it's, maybe it's saying too much, but... We were just—I think we've been burnt by a lot of Sonic games over the last few years, oh, and and we we're just like, you know what? We can go back true to form. This is this is a, a true Sonic game, and this is mm-hmm. this was fun. I think the I think the controls were spot on. I think I felt like I was playing Sonic when I played this. Was that the case for you? Oh, it definitely was. It felt honestly, it felt like the first time I've ever played Sonic. So oh. it's like it. it 
felt for it would oh, it's really hard to explain it's you, you just you're sitting there in silence for an hour and a half and you're already halfway through the game and yeah. you're just amused by it so yeah yeah i think it, they really did capture the the amount of of i don't know the speed i think is there that needs to be i think that the level design is is brilliant and and I think there's still there's a decent level of challenge within the mm. game as well. I def I never felt like this this is too easy. Um, mm. I felt like I was I was gradually you know getting more challenge as, as each level you know progressed. And and there's some even early on that I was like I had to take two or three you know tries at it before I finally figured out what I was supposed to do. And and so there there was a lot of uh, yeah, challenge within the game, which is is something you know we don't really get a whole lot in in modern games. <laughs> like I think a lot of you know modern games are a little too easy, but uh, <laughs> but I think this Sonic really kind of ramped things up in the right way for sure. It captured a lot of the old that classic difficulty. So you're just getting there, you're getting to the boss for the first time, you're gonna die the first time, mm -hmm. and then uh, come back at it and learn from your own mistakes. Yeah. So I haven't played all Sonic games. I play a lot of Sonic games. I've tried to avoid the ones that I've heard that were bad, um, <laughs> like Sonic 06. I'm just I'm just staying away. Um, <laughs> um, but but when, one of the cool things I think early on, um, I got to a, a boss fight, and I'm sure you got the same one. And and all of a sudden it was. Um, I forget what game it is, but it was like a puzzle game, like side by oh, side. Yeah. And um, I was like almost like. Was it Dr. Robotnik's uh, yeah. Mean Bean Machine? That's it, yeah. And I was like, wait a second. This is so, it's so cool. Like, to, like it's not a typical boss fight. And that was that was kind of cool just to see that they're trying to throw new things in there to just spice it up a little bit um, to, to keep us on mm -hmm. our, you know, on our toes, I guess, yeah, in, ter in terms of the boss fights. And not, it's not just a, a typical boss fight, you know, hit the guy three times and is done, um, that sort of thing. And there's a lot of uh, like later on. There's references to other games. I know. I, I'm gonna say it's probably a, that the uh, Western level. I'm not sure if you've gotten there yet. It's there's uh, it feels a little bit like Fantasy Zone. Hmm. That's cool. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's definitely. I feel like this is like what you said. It's a fan game, but it's not a fan game. I think it's that's one of those those cool things. That I feel like you know Sega really just like put this out there is just say hey you know what we know what you love we know what you've been what be you've been asking for for a long time and <laughs> here you go <laughs> it's kind of you know happy birthday to sonic happy 25th birthday here's our birthday gift to you um here's here's what sonic we know what you've been saying sonic should be <laughs> yeah. oh man so so are there any aspects of the game that you really did not like at all uh, it's really hard to say. It really. Oh God. Um. The biggest issues I really even had with the game are just all controller related. Oh really? So. I like if everything's on point and feels really good. It mm -hmm. feels like how a platformer should feel like. But I was sitting there playing with some of the power ups, and they didn't feel right on the say the mm -hmm. pro controller. Okay. And I swapped over the Joy Cons, and I was like, "Oh, this is, works perfectly fine now." So really, huh? That's interesting. I have I haven't tried different controllers, but I've only tried the Pro Controller, and well, yeah, I did play it on the Joy Cons in, in like handheld mode, I guess. Um, and I didn't really notice a huge difference in the beginning, but but I do. I, but I would say like overall, the controls are really spot on, and I think that mm. was the big thing because past Sonic games, the controls have been awful. And oh, yeah. like you need them to be spot on for for Sonic and and overall they're good. I'll have to go back and and try out some of the 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 power ups and see how that works mm -hmm. with the different controllers because that's that's not something I realized right away. But I'll have to go check back that out. You know, mm -hmm. check that out again now that you now that you mentioned that. It um, just it it was really odd coincidences that popped up. So yeah. um, in the oil city zone or whatever it was like i was climbing the oil waterfalls and mm -hmm. uh i constantly kept pressing you know like the right button and it just pushed me to left and everything else and i was like mm. 
it's either me making the mistake or the controller making the mistake. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it is us, but <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a lot of times when I get to certain, even just like it, it, I had to get myself back into what traditional Sonic feels like and how it controls because there were some times that I did get frustrated and I knew mm. like this is myself. I just got to, it doesn't, it doesn't operate the same way as Mario does, for instance. Oh, yeah. And so, like, it's a different kind of platformer. And and even my wife was playing the cooperative mode or the competitive mode with me earlier today. And mm. uh, and she had never played a Sonic game before. Like, she loves Mario, but she'd never played a Sonic game. And so it took a few rounds for her to kind of get the, the, the hang of actually playing Sonic because it is a different style mm. of platformer, for sure. And uh, and there's a lot of times and she's like, I don't know where to go or how do I get up there? And she was playing as tails and she just kept flying everywhere on accident. <laughs> like so, and it's pretty cool that you can play as the different characters, but but they all have their different things. And so she wasn't used to it, and she was just she's like, he just keeps flying everywhere, <laughs> and he just top it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it's really I, I had a lot. I've had a lot of fun with it. I think it's really cool too. Um, to, I, I mean. It's, it's always been a downside ever since uh, ever since Sega just went back to just you know developing games and not their own consoles. But it's pretty cool that you know I always had a heart and you know like I was always a Nintendo fan, but I loved Se- or I loved Sonic, and uh, it's pretty cool now to to be able to you know, and this is not the first one obviously, but to be able to take you know a true Sonic game on the go on a Nintendo system. Um, that I'm really happy to play, and that's been pretty cool. And that's even then, that's the irony of it. Like, I was watching a few other people through the week get, give their impressions, and a lot of them are like, Oh, yeah, this is like the first, like, Sonic's the first bit major mascot to make it to a Nintendo console <laughs> before Mario is. It's like, What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the biggest thing um, for me that I'm kind of disappointed in, and this is not. It's not a huge thing, but I but I feel like we were talking a little bit before the show that there's not a whole lot to this game. Like it's mm-hmm. really just it's a straightforward game. I they do have the you know the time trial things where you can basically you know try to go you know get through you know as fast as you can and compete with other people mm-hmm. online, which. I don't even know how some of these people fly through those things as fast. Like even in the Green Hill Zone One, I'm like trying to get us through as fast as I can. I'm like, how are you doing this thing in 28 seconds? That's like physically impossible. <laughs> like that's ridiculous. But I think the thing that I would like to see there, for instance, I would like to be able to see like replays of those those top 10 or something like that. Just be able to click on it and say, okay, you know, they said they did in 28 seconds. How do they do it in 28 seconds? And be able to watch mm-hmm. them play through it. That'd be kind of a, a cool addition. That you know, I don't think it would take too much for them to to add in. So who knows? Yeah. They, they probably wouldn't add it in, but it'd be cool if they did. Um, and then and then you have the competitive mode, which is it's okay. I mean, it's just it's two player mode that you're playing against someone else and try to get through it faster than them and get as many you know rings as you can. Um, it's all right. Nothing much there. Mm-hmm. And that's that's pretty much it, right? Like, there's just that in the main game. It's pretty much it's all there. Yeah. Uh, like, there's a lot. There's some extra stuff here and there. I did find early on. If you hold the um, let's get to look at the controller again. Uh, the a, X and Y button on the or now X no X and A button on the uh, main screen or the uh, start menu. You end up going to a uh, the sound test menu and you oh. actually go in there and select all the levels and all that that's cool there's actually three i think there's three acts to lava reef zone as well so hmm. yeah so that there are more levels i think than in a typical sonic game which is cool like it seems like yeah. they kept going going which is which is fun but yeah i was like i think i don't know i i think there i wish there was a little bit more to it but mm. but but overall i'm i'm very pleased with it and and i think you know I, I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're a Sonic fan. This is this is definitely something to get. Um, and and if you're not, if you've been kind of toying around with the idea of maybe getting a Sonic game and and you know having it on your Switch and be able to take it on the go, um, this is definitely one of those games you can play on the go. And uh, it's not going to suck all out of your battery. It's gonna um, it's it's gonna you know be able to last for a long time. You could probably play through the whole game maybe on one t- whole charge. Um, and uh, 
yeah, I, but I think I don't know. I'm I'm very pleased with it. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm overall satisfied with it. And I sort of treating it like I would any other Sonic game. Like the last Sonic game I actually beat was, oh god, um, actually probably none of them. This is probably the first one I've actually beaten so far. Okay. So, and I got into near the end of Sonic Two and. The, like the biggest things I was looking for were just like levels that I wanted. Hmm. So like, and like my overall impression of it though has been it's it's fine, it's good, it's okay, but I want to see what Sonic Forces has. Hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So so do you do you prefer the two D or the three D Sonics? Um, it's a toss up between okay. them. So like I like Sonic Two. I didn't like Sonic Three, but I also like. Sonic Lost Worlds. Okay. And what was the other one? I think nothing else, but Okay. I think Sonic 3D, honestly, but Yeah. So I, I like I like Generations a lot. Um I think it was one of the the better um 3D Sonic games, but I really what I think I preferred like if they were able to do like if I could go play Sonic Generations and only play the 2D style of Sonic, I would like that'd be great. Um so I love the fact that this is just 2D Sonic. Like mm-hmm. I'm interested in Forces, but I'm not quite sure if I will enjoy it as much as I do Sonic Mania. Um because I I think personally I I do prefer the uh the the more 2d style i just it just doesn't feel like the mm. right kind of sign i feel like there's too much going on i guess in 3d i don't know that's just my my prefer- yeah. my preference i guess yeah, it's really how you perceive it like your your expectations for like a 3d sonic's more like you need an adventure you need mm. like a whole story behind it for a 2d sonic it's pretty much you need to run and gun levels so you're right. just going through and blasting them out yeah, I think the funny. You mentioned the plot. I was like, I think they. I, I I didn't even realize there was a story behind it until I was looking at Wikipedia today. Kind of just doing <laughs> a little more research and everything, and prep prepping for a game chat. And I was like, wait, there's there's an actual story that's going on here. I mean, I know there's like that little yeah, anime I didn't even pay attention thing, to that. <laughs> but I was like, I just skip through it and like let's get to the gameplay. And uh, then I started reading, and I was like. Oh, how about that? I guess it, it's supposed to be following up Sonic and Knuckles, and they're going after Eggman again, but then, like, he's supposed to have taken this Phantom Ruby power from the little planet thing from Sonic CD, and, like, all this other stuff, and I was like, wow, they've really put a lot of thought into this thing that I don't even pay attention to. <laughs> yeah, the Sonic story arc is just too... It's, it's everywhere. I, I, I like Mario, where it's just like, Go save the princess. You're done. Right. Yep. <laughs> and I guess, like, in a way, it's, it's kind of like Sonic, but there is, there's so much else, I guess, to it. Mm-hmm. Like, basically, you're just taking out Eggman every time. But there, are, there is, like, all these other reasons and thoughts and everything that it does overcomplicate it sometimes. But I like how you can just skip past it and just get right into the gameplay in Sonic Mania. Like, you don't have mm-hmm. to think about the plot. Just just go. <laughs> so, Definitely. Cool. Well, um, that's our game chat for for Sonic Mania. If uh, you'd like to learn a little more about the game, make sure you check out our site, and we'll have more uh, posts and and stuff about the game. And and we'd love to know what you think about it. If you have played it, make sure you throw your comments down in the comments section here on YouTube, or you can do that on our site as well at NintendoFuse.com. And... um, Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we would love for you to see all the rest of our content. Um, We put out game chats a couple times a month. We have a podcast that comes out once a month and industry talk um, interviews with developers and other people within the gaming industry uh, that comes out once a month. We get a really exciting one that's coming out this next month um, that that Barry has been working on. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I won't spoil anything. Just make sure you subscribe so you can get that and if you want to know anything else about nintendo make sure you subscribe because we're gonna be putting out some stuff um even mike's been working on some secret projects in in the background we won't spoil anything there either but we got some some new exciting stuff coming up for nintendo fuse on our on our youtube and facebook and everything so um, we're pretty excited about that so make sure you hit that bell as well to be alerted by all our, our videos that come out and uh, Mike thanks for joining us t- today for another Nintendo Fuse game chat alright thanks for having me hey no problem at all and uh, make sure you 
Stay tuned here at Nintendo Fuse. Thanks.